Hello everyone, it's Ninja from the Legion of Loom modding clan. Today I'm going to talk about one of the most common troubleshooting posts that I've seen. It's the crash report handler. Of course, this is answered in an FAQ. There's two reasons this happens. First of all, shout out to Dom for posting this screenshot. Thank you. I hope we answer your question today. First reason this happens. Um, I'm launching from mod manager with mods and crash report handler happens. Well, that just means that you haven't used the correct anti-cheat. So let's go back into our Madden files, which for me is on the C drive program files, EA games, Madden NFL 25. If you're using Steam, it may be in a different location. What you want to do is to check and make sure that you have the original EA anti-cheat renamed. So you can tell it's the original because you have the EA logo. It's about 16,000 kilobytes. And I have it renamed here with the underscore in front of it, actually two underscores. You can tell the difference between the fake anti-cheat because it does not have the EA logo and it is only about 69 kilobytes. So it's much smaller. If you are trying to launch with mods, you need to have the fake anti-cheat active. So you don't want this renamed. You want the original anti-cheat renamed. Now, the other reason that you can get the dreaded crash report handler is if you're trying to launch the base game and you have not restored it properly. So even though, going back into the folder here, even though you may have already renamed, let's just, the fake anti-cheat, hit continue and renamed the original anti-cheat or well restored the name on it actually hit continue even if you've done that properly that's not enough if you had previously launched with mods there are files in in this folder that need to be removed for the base game to function properly assuming that you're not like in the middle of an sdk update or something like that situation um, the best way to handle that is to hit the Restore Madden 25 button in the Mod Manager. Now, just before I do that, let's cover a couple things. Inside the Madden NFL 25 folder, you may see all of these DLL files. Some of them are modding related. CryptBase.dll, which I have selected here, is modding related. DPappy.dll which I have selected here, is also modding related. In the event that you cannot hit the restore button in Mod Manager for whatever reason, you can just select both of these DLL files and delete them. But I just wanna show you how the Mod Manager works first. So let's hit the restore button and it will tell you Madden NFL 25 has been restored to base game. Just click OK and you're good to go. Now you can launch from either EA or from Steam. So to review, there are two reasons. First reason, I'm trying to launch with mods and I get Crash Dump Handler. That reason is because you didn't use the fake anti-cheat. The other reason is because you haven't restored the game properly, you can't launch from uh, EA or Steam, you're getting the crash report handler, then you just need to go and restore the base game properly. Now there is another more obscure thing that can happen. If you have auto, uh, automatic updates turned on in Steam or EA, wherever you bought it from, and the game updates while you have your, your modded files in here, and say your modded anti-cheat is active when that gets updated, it may end up getting kind of borked and it'll look like the original anti-cheat but you'll have two of them it'll be kind of jacked up just delete them if you're not sure which one it is repair the game and then redo your mods according to the tutorial and you'll be all set so i hope that solves your problem uh please enjoy the mods and have a great day Legion.